Hello friends, my name is Carol Gehring and tonight I bring you a devotional from the book that we've been using for now 144 days. I bring you the word from Bob Goff in his Live in Grace, Walk in Love devotional book. Today, day 145, Bob offers us this thought. Sometimes we ask for help and God gives us hope, not because it's different, but because it's the same. Hear this word from Matthew's Gospel. It's the word of Jesus as he's offering the Sermon on the Mount, and I know these will be familiar words to you. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and hide it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. My friend Doug and I volunteered as summer camp counselors for Young Life when we were in college. These are again the words of Bob Goff. Young Life introduces youth to Jesus by loving them like he loved us with no agenda. The young people who come don't have to know Bible verses or Christian songs or take positions on the social issues of the day to feel like they belong. We know, just like Jesus did, that we meet each other at the starting line, not at the finish line. Speaking, spending every day outside with kids for weeks was a lot of fun, but it had us begging for a day off. Really, anything would do, even a 24-hour virus. God answered those prayers by letting us catch something else instead, a renewed vision for what he was up to with the kids. Hear that again. Instead of catching a virus, they caught something else instead, a renewed vision for what God was up to with the kids. Right after I'd pray for an illness-induced rest, one of the kids would open up to me about his lifelong desire to feel like his dad really liked him or tell me his time at camp was the first time he had ever felt truly seen and loved. Just when Doug was ready to escape camp by canoe in the night, a kid would tell him he didn't want to use drugs anymore because he was starting to believe his life mattered. These experiences taught me that sometimes when we ask for help, God gives us hope instead. When we want help getting through another day, God gives us hope in what he's doing in and through us. What a timely word for all of us just trying to get through another day in this pandemic with all of these differences in each and every day of our lives, we sometimes feel helpless. We ask God for help, for patience, for the realization of God's presence, for an opportunity to do something meaningful. And then God shows us, I've been giving you opportunities. I have given you patience, and it was your patience that made a difference in the life of another. I have offered a word of hope, and that word of hope that you shared with someone else was exactly the help they needed in that moment. Well, the next time you find yourself looking for a way out, look for evidence of God on the move in someone's life around you. They've probably been asking God to give them a little hope, and what God is giving them is you. Friends, let's pray together. Gracious God, we do thank you for your presence, for your power, for your infinite wisdom. When we need help getting through another day, help with patience, help with purpose, help with persevering, we give you thanks that you offer us not only that help, but also the hope that we will be a purposeful, patient, and persevering friend to another. We give you thanks, dear God, for Jesus, 
whose word comes to life in us and is in that word hope itself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a good night, friends.